that, that's good. Uh, I went to Washington DC. Wow. But I think that that was also the same, uh, as the same code as in New York. We were breathing outside. Um, but um, did anyone um, sh go shopping? That's Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Shopping online. Actually, today is also cyber. Cyber Monday is cyber Monday. Question. Um, I think um, before like, we have like some you know, listening and stuff like that. Um, sure, I don't remember that. So what what did the, the two speakers talk about? Yeah, something about submarine. They talk about a trip. Uh, mm -hmm. Talking about explorer uh, Cameron Miller, James, James James Cameron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James Cameron. Right. Okay, about the trip. Yeah. 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 Track 61, it's the deepest place on earth, and before now, nobody has ever been to the bottom. But the film director and National Geographic explorer James Cameron has traveled down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. With me in the studio is our science expert, Jenny Walters, to tell us how he did it. Good evening. So, Jenny, first of all, how deep is the Mariana Trench? It's seven miles to the bottom. That's a long way down. It sure is. How long did the journey take? Cameron took over two hours to get to the bottom, and then he spent about four hours down there. And how did he travel there? In some kind of submarine? That's right. It was a special one-man submarine. I see. 
How big is it exactly? It's 23 feet long, but it has a big engine, so there isn't much room for a human. So you're in a small space, and it's dark down there. Why couldn't you? How well could he see? It's very dark, but the submarine has lights, of course, so Cameron could see small sea creatures. He described it as a desert. He also had cameras on the submarine, and he plans to make a 3D movie about the adventure. And of course, he isn't the first explorer, is he? How many other explorers have been there? There was one other. Don Walsh went down in 1960, but he didn't go to the bottom. In fact, he was on the ship when Cameron went down. Wow, how old is he now? I think he's in his 80s. That's amazing. And I have one last question that everyone wants to know the answer to. How much did James Cameron spend on this? Thousands? Millions? I'm afraid I don't know. But films like Titanic and Avatar made a lot of money at the box office, so I think he could afford it. Let's put the uh, topic in order. So which one do you think is the first one? The first one is the one to the board and the Let's look at some detailed questions to see exercise tips. 
the for does part on a lot of people get stuck with the kind of first remains because we're going to take that too. So let's share our answers. Um, by, I would like you to share by Paris. I show some on Myra and the Transit. What do you say about questions one and two? Second, my the ball. Master the over three hours. Over two hours to get the weapon. And then spend about four hours down there. The total journey to the place are really good. That's really detailed. And um, number three and number four. I don't know. I do the
it's hard to connect the data. Can you repeat that? What kind of communication is it? Um, and there's a different idea. Oh. Of the lines. It's very dark and the sun doesn't have to be a line. But in this the area is the desert. Mm -hmm. So the is the desert. So you are in the middle, you know, close to there. Um, I like to see what to do. So why do you um, answer the question in that way? How? How? Yeah. I agree. So this question is asking about how. Um, if we answer that by he saw many these pictures, um, then the question would be something like, what could James Cameron see? The other question is how is asking about the way that he sees. So he says that the camera sees the moon being big. He describes it as the Um, this question is about how, how, what. So, the, what is kitchen is the, the how to answer? We can leave the answer to that for later, like, and we'll talk we yeah. about how yeah. questions when we get it to the. I think we should say that to All right, well, well, let's, let's leave it there. I better you will see. All right, uh, last two questions. Please, John Lau, please explore. Yeah, I think John Lau, I don't think it's for two. It's an explore. How could Cameron afford to for the So here, a board implies that camera needs a lot of money. So if he doesn't have money, he won't be able to go to the trip. So here, a board means that you have enough money to do something.
so in your discussion, I found the cell of the web news as one. Um, uh, um, I was just there. I for a while. No, I, I, I got your meeting. Uh, however, we do not say this. We only say I for to something. Um, I don't really I think this makes sense. I for a while. I for a already. Um, or other way, you can say you can change a word. Pay a lot of money. Someone. He made a lot of money to buy all these things. So he offered to he could offer it to six years. Um, so as we said, uh, when we answer this question, we look at the first word in the question. It's a how question. Um, so let's look at all the questions in exercise 10. And what do you say is the biggest similarity? Except for number five. Okay. Um, so it could be more. All the questions that I are popular. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, except for number five, all the other questions mm -hmm. start the uh, how. So that they are all. How questions. Uh, as we said, uh, how questions we can use that to be uh, the way. Okay. Uh, but also we can use it to ask about many different things. Uh, so now I want you to look at the exercise example. So could you please read the instructions?
Come back to exercise 10 when we answer the detailed questions. How long did the journey take to be all of this? Over two hours. We also can take like four hours. So what's that? Did you time? Right, right. That's the period of time. <coughs> Quantity. Uh, uh, someone asked me whether does one the same as the way or something. I think that's the same. Um, something happens to the way. Okay. So let's look at the questions with uh, all the words that forward. I underline all of these words. So if you are going to give them one name, what do you call it?
Here I have three categories of places on the earth. Um, category A is a mountain, a forest, general desert, uh, desert or island. Would be the ocean, sea, river, or lake. Would be a city, country, or town. Um, let's do this. Uh, um, Stay with the group. Um, stay with the person next to you. Um, so this group, you are in charge of group A. In the middle of you, you are in charge of group B. In the middle, you are in charge of C. So first of all, I would like each of you to think of one place in your own head. Just think of one place. Uh, it's better to be a famous one so you can get up for information for so, Does everyone have a place in your mind? Please tell me the name. Yes, I'm on top of the Empress State Beauty. 
Sorry, that was so fantastic. So, uh, how, how, how big, how long is that? How long? Yeah. How, how tall? Sorry, how tall is that? Uh, I just need the information. The Empress State Beauty is 40, 443.7 meters tall. Oh, great. So, guess where am I? The Central Park? Yeah, I mean Central Park. All right, so how big is it? I don't know the exact number, but I think maybe it was about five blocks long. Oh, that's very big. Um, how can I get to there from um, Empress State Beauty? Uh, I think maybe you can take the train. Okay, when I get down, I'll go there to find you. Okay, see you later. Do you catch the how questions in our conversation? This is the last one. That's all. How can I go? How can I go? From how big is Central Park here? Questions like that. All right, then we start to design.
as a file to them, it has a lot of work, a lot of detailed information. Uh, conversation. Um, so the rest of you, what are some questions they ask? How do you think the temperature of this? How do you think? Other questions? How do you find the hotels? Any other questions? How long did you stay in the Yeah, I think basically that's a similar question. But that's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, one thing here um, sometimes, usually, if you say I fly. To, so you, you just have to act by the plane. Like you cannot fly. If you say I, I fly somewhere, it also already contains the means that you must have taken. You can just directly say I fly to the I flew to the Okay, great. Good conversation. Um, And now at month
So what what do we do? Uh, what what places do that we do not? I'm glad you remember all that. Thank you for correcting me. There you go. That's that's really confusing part. We don't say yeah, that. that's the yeah. Okay. All right. Um I also I heard a question like that was fun. That's for scratch this part. How long uh, the river, the Nile River too? I can have two portions. Two Atlantic portions. Um I think the grammatically flat is a lot on the Nile River to the Atlantic Ocean. So let's look at the meaning. I think um really confusing, right? I think the the person who asked the question wants to know this difference between now we do and the application. So in that case, long is not the perfect. How long the three takes to how long the three take to legalize to the Atlantic Ocean? Yes, that's another way. So um we can change it into how long does it take to travel? So here, first one you are asking about this time for you travel to the This is one way. And the other way here is come back to the adjective here. So I want to ask the distance we go to the place. How many kilometers are just between them? How far? How far from? That's the, the better word. How far is the Nile River to the Atlantic Ocean? So how far is the river the Nile to the Atlantic Ocean? How far is the distance? Any last minute questions about our question? I think you are good with this part. We all perform very perfect conversation. Is it possible that we open the
uh, to build a star type of thought in New Earth. Uh, let's imagine something in the future. Um, so first of all, um, I, I think everyone knows that uh, we have a lot of imaginations of what our life will be like hundred years later. If our Earths and what we die at that time, so we'll need to find a new place to live on. Um, and actually, uh, we already have some science fiction or science fiction movies about people's future. This one is a favorite, I think it's a little bit old. When it's called 20 Dollar Week to Better Day Peak. Uh, it's one of the most famous um, science fiction movies. Has anyone read this one before? Or uh, have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have you seen it? It's only two of them. Only two of them. On the other, I cannot read his name. It's a French man. He is very famous. He also wrote something like, um, 80 days around the world. You know that? Or 80 days um, to, um, I, I can't remember. But that, that book is also very famous. Okay, that book is like 100 years ago. So this one uh, talks about a story that a scientist traveled with a captain. Um, then the crew on a submarine. It just talks about submarine. They travel under the sea, visiting not many ocean creatures. They saw some fantasy places. Um, they include the real world places like um, some rap of ships. Similar to the time that we went up to space, we need to use water. That's all we can And also some fictional things. Is this related uh, from the Nemo? Nemo the movie. She has written the Nemo. No, no, no. 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 Let's do a, I want to know some more of you about all of this. Um, so let's do a quick look around here. So here's the question. Do you think people will leave somewhere in the future? Uh, and I'd like you to base on your choices of the future. Move to the corner of the classroom. You have three choices. A is yes, that is. B is possible. C is no. Never. So let's say uh, the sign would be Mr. A. And the back would be B. The sign is B. Do you think people will be the same as today? Say a um, hundred years later. Based on your opinions, I want you to stand up and move to the side. Yes, A. Shall we all get out first? This is 
whatever you can say there. Not just travel, but live. Yeah, live. Ah, uh, live. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can travel. It's a, it's a choice, right? The person's a choice because uh, some people want to leave the moon, some people because of, for the future. So some it's people. Not, it's not what you want, but the fact. So everybody will live the in the future. No. <laughs> I think we have three skis and okay, now four skis and two bees. I don't know. I think it's possible to now have many skis and take more about the moon. So maybe. So that maybe in the future. 100 years? Oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's a long time later. Yes. <laughs> That's guessing, right? Not definitely. Yeah. So you have the choice and then definitely to ask the reason to make that guessing. Okay. Since, what's your reason? I think the future and the high training was. environment. Sorry. 